Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and I'm so glad you could join me. This is morning prayer for Monday, March the 5th. It's year two, it's week two in Lent, and it's week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scriptures for this service, Psalms 56, 57, and 58, and Mark chapter 3, verse 7 to 19. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O oh my God, foes crush me. Psalms 56, 57, and 58. Have mercy on me, God, foes crush me. They fight me all day long and oppress me. My foes crush me all day long, for many fight proudly against me. When I fear, I will trust in you, in you whose word I praise. In you I trust, I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? All day long they distort my words. All their thought is to harm me. They band together in ambush and track me down and seek my life. Repay them, my God, for their crimes. In your anger, cast them down. You have kept an account of my wanderings. You have kept a record of my tears. Are they not written in your book? And then my foes will be put to fight on the day that I call to you. This I know, that you are on my side. In you whose word I praise, in you I trust, I shall not fear. What can mere mortals do to me? I am bound by the vows I have made you. O oh God, I offer my praise. For you rescued my soul from distress, and you kept my feet from stumbling, that I may walk in your presence and enjoy the light of the living. Have mercy on me, O God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass me by. I call to you, O God, the Most High, to you who have always been my help. May you send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. O oh God, send your truth and your love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour us one and all. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O oh God, rise above the heavens, and may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, and my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell into it themselves. My heart is ready, O God. My heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awaken the dawn. I thank you, my God, among the peoples. Among the nations I praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O oh God, rise above the heavens, and may your glory shine on earth. Do you truly speak justice, do you who hold divine power? Do you met out fair judgment to the peoples of the land? No, in your hearts you devise injustice, your hands deal out violence to the land. In their wickedness they have gone astray from their birth. They wandered among lies as soon as they were born and their venom is like the venom of a snake. They are heedless as the adder that turns a deaf ear, lest it should catch the snake charmer's voice, the voice of the skillful dealer in spells. O oh God, break the teeth in their mouth, tear out the fangs of these wild beasts, let them vanish like water that runs away, and let them wither like grass that is trodden down. Let them be like the snail that dissolves into slime, and like a woman's miscarriage that never sees the sun. Before they put forth thorns like a bramble, let them be swept away, green wood or dry. The just shall rejoice at the sight of vengeance. They shall bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. Truly, they shall say, the just are rewarded. Truly, there is a God who does justice on the earth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God. Foes crush me.
The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, beginning at verse 7. Jesus departed with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, hearing all that he was doing. They came to him in great numbers from Judea, Jerusalem, beyond the Jordan, and the region around Tyre and Sidon. And he told his disciples to have a boat ready, because of the crowd, so that they would not crush him. For he had cured many, so that all who had diseases pressed upon him to touch him. And whenever the unclean spirits saw him, they fell down before him and shouted, You are the Son of God. But he sternly ordered them not to make him known. And he went up the mountain and called to him, called to him those whom he wanted, and they came to him. And he appointed twelve, whom he named apostles, to be with him and to and he be sent out to proclaim the gospel and to have authority to cast out demons. And so he appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name Boanerges, that is, sons of thunder, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanian, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. Here ends the lesson. Now let us pray for the church in the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth, Live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace, that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. For the mercy of God community, for Joe and Tom and Alan and uh, Ronald Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, William John, Don Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian, Raymond, Richard, Bill, and all the Mercy of God associates. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their troubles. Bring them the joy of your salvation. For the unemployed, especially Bill and Robert and Carrie and Brian. For the sick, for a cure for cancer. For those who are about to undergo surgery, especially James Bernard. For the aged and the infirm, especially Marjorie and Ronald Francis. For those who grieve, especially Chris. For the incarcerated, especially Christian. We commend to your mercy all who've died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with Francis and Claire and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. For Lloyd and Louise, for Sarah and Howard, for Billy and Lloyd and Lawrence and Stephen and Margaret and Dwight, for Dan, Joanne, Hugh, Charles, Tom, Wayne, Martin, Kevin, Philip, John David, Ramon Ivan, Joseph Benedict, Miriam Suzanne, Walter Arthur, Robert Patrick, Stephen Edward, John William David, and Stephen Michael that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Let your Spirit, O God, come into the midst of us to wash us with the pure water of repentance and prepare us to be always a living sacrifice to you through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.